Hi, I'm Karan from Team Must. In this video, I'll show you some amazing Eclipse shortcuts, which will not only help you write your code faster, but more accurately. So let's begin. We have the Eclipse ID here, and we have a sample project created as named Project One. In the SRC folder, we'll create a new file named main and we'll also include a main method and click finish so by chance if you have forgotten to select the main method checkbox what you do is you just press control spacebar and you can see that the main method can be selected from the list of options these list of options are provided by the eclipse id as the intelligence feature so you can just hit enter and the main method body will be written automatically so let's write the system.out.println statement you just have to type sys out and then hit control spacebar the entire line will be completed automatically let's print hello world to the output so we'll write hello world so now what if i want to print hello world in uppercase I will not go hit backspace and type the whole thing again what I'll do is I'll just select it and press Control shift X and you can see that the code has transformed into uppercase so if I want it in lowercase I can do select and then press Control shift Y so now let's create another file in the default package as user.jav so now here we'll create two fields private int id and private string name so now what if I want to generate the getters and setters for these two instance variables I'll just click on source and hit generate getters and setters and I can select all those instance variables for which I want to generate the getters and setters and I'll just press ok and you can see the getters and setters have been generated automatically by the IDE so now what if I want to generate the constructor the parameterized constructor with the fields so I'll just click on source and click on generate constructor using fields and I can select all the instance variables which I want as the parameters so here I need both of them so I'll just select both and click OK and the default constructor can be generated automatically by hitting control spacebar and then selecting this constructor and hitting enter you can see that the default constructor has been generated so now let's say I have a code which is unformatted like this so what if I want the code to be formatted automatically by the IDE you just have to press Control, shift and F and the code will be formatted automatically by the Eclipse IDE you, you do not have to worry about that so let's move to the main file and type a buffer edit statement so now you can see that the buffer edit statement shows a little error here this is because of the import statements the import statements have not been added yet so what you can do is you can just press Control shift o and the import statements will be automatically added by the ID. Now let's complete this buffer reader statement. And again, you can just press Control Shift O and the input stream reader class will be added automatically. The import statements will be added automatically by pressing Control Shift O. Now let's move to the user file user.java now let's say 
I want to change the name of the instance variable. I do not like the ID. I want this instance variable to be called as, uh, let's say, a password. So what will I do is, I'll have to change it everywhere, like say thousands of lines of code. But what will I do is, I'll just double click on this instance variable and press Alt Shift R. And now I'll just start typing the name of the new instance variable, which is in this case is password. So and hit enter. And you can see that everywhere the name of the instance variable has been changed to the new name. Now let's say I am on line number 17 and I want to go directly to the line number 26. So what will I do is I'll just press Ctrl L and type in the line number. And you can see that the ID also shows the enter line number from 1 to 33 which specifies the range of the code. So I'll just press 26 here and hit enter. So you can see the cursor in the 26 line. So now let's say you have multiple methods, many many methods in your code file and you want to navigate between the methods. What will you do? Will you use a scroll bar? Let's say you have tens of thousands of lines of code. No, that will not be very efficient. It will consume most of your time while navigating between the methods. So let's make this task more easy and more fast. Just press Ctrl O and you can see the whole list of instance variables, constructors and methods. You can just click on any of them. You can use your keyboard mouse, keyboard or mouse to select them and hit enter or just click over them and navigate over to the methods. So in this case, I'm moving on to the get ID and here, here I am. So let's press control O again and I want to move to the password instance variable. So the, uh, the cursor is in the third line, the private int ID password. So if I want to jump over to the next method or the next thing, just press control shift down arrow key and you can see that I'm navigating to the different methods. And similarly, you can move upwards by pressing Control Shift and up arrow key. So this is the way. And now, the most repeated task done by the developers is navigating between the source files. So in this project, I have three source files, main.java, prepaid user.java, and user.java. So let's say I want to navigate frequently between these three files. What will I, uh, what I generally do is, I just click with my mouse on these files, these tabs to navigate between the files. But can we just make this way more faster? So what you can do is just click on the window, select preferences. And now you can select in the general part, you can select keys. Now just type in here next tab and you can select it over here and you can type a binding over here so let's say in my case i feel comfortable with pressing control tab to navigate between the different tabs and i just apply it and hit ok so now when it just type uh, control tab i navigate to the next tab and this is rotating so when i'm in the last tab it will uh, when i press control tab it will move me to the first tab. So that's it for this video. If you feel I missed out on any one of the shortcuts which is used by developers very frequently, you can write in the comment section below and thank you sir. Thank you very much.